d d gang, what's going on guys? I got another video for you today. You know the drill, if you don't, you must be new to the channel. Take that half a second, maybe even a third of a second if you're really quick with the computer. Hit the subscribe button, it's free to you, helps me out. Today is gonna be an awesome video. We got about three hours of daylight left. Summer in the Adirondacks. I'm sure this brings memories to a lot of you guys. I'm gonna show you exactly what flies we're using on each of the rods and our setups so you guys know exactly how we're doing this and we're gonna get right to fishing. This is gonna be our anchor fly. It's a size 14. It's kind of a flashy version of a hare's ear nymph. It's called the DSHS. It's on my website. If, if you guys wanna buy some flies and support the channel, you're welcome to purchase this. So you're using exactly what we're using tonight. This is our little dropper fly. It's just a little olive. There's one. No idea how big, but see how quick we can get this guy in. Water temps are a bit high. Want to get these in quick. Come here, buddy. Eh, decent trout, actually. Come here. Alrighty guys, with this first fish, I'm gonna show you something really important. Keep these fish in the water. This water is upper 60s. You cannot touch these fish. Well, the fly actually already came out. We're gonna release this guy really, really quick so he can recover. Give you guys a really quick look at him. Rainbow trout, back in. That's what you need to do when it's hot like this. Alrighty guys, another good spot right here. Familiar riffle, last video. See this big rock? Look what it's doing to the current. Do you guys see the two main sources of current? You wanna split them. Soft spot in the middle, soft spot in the middle. In front and behind the rock, this is a good little perfect example of pocket water trout fishing. Now it's a little bit warmer today, so the fish might even be in the fast water. You can work the riffle, you can work the soft spot, you can work behind the rock. All of those are good. You just gotta think, if I was a trout, where would I be sitting in there? You know, you could sit right here and use the least amount of energy to get the most amount of food. And that's what you guys need to focus on when you're out here fishing. You're not gonna sit right here if you're a trout, because then you gotta constantly swim takes up a lot of energy and oxygen. You're gonna sit where it's comfortable where you're still getting fed. Think of that, you'll catch a lot more trout. Oh, I'm in the trees, I'm in the trees. Water's about 66. I'm gonna show them to you real quick. Little rainbow trout. Back he goes. All is good. Let's keep fishing. <sighs> Tough with these trees. These trees.
Wow, a ton of trout in that spot. Oh, brown trout. Or no, it is a rainbow. Looks like a brown. Same fly. This fly has done absolute damage on trout. Hundreds. Right through there. Alrighty guys, a little update. Fish that pocket water. We're both up here now. And um, there's a few fish coming off. It's not too, too crazy, but it could get really crazy in the past or in the last um, maybe 10, 15 minutes of daylight. Could get really, really fired up. It might be one of those classic summer late night hatches where you almost have to fish into the darkness. So that's kind of what we're banking on right now. He's had a couple of takes so far. I'm going to try to get a couple on camera if I can for you guys. But I got one isolated trout. Oh, and he just hooked up on camera, on cue. Oh, no. How'd he throw that? Hey, good news, though, that, that caddis, that could be the deal. All right, so he just hooked up on a caddis. We're going to kind of switch up what we're doing to cover more ground. Wow, that big one's still up there. He's on caddis. I'm going to go mayfly. I'm going to switch it up. We're going to dial in the puzzle. Saw some rusty, rusty spinner just came by. Got one? Oh, is that a good one? All right, hold on. I'll come down there. I thought I heard that one. Turn around, you're connected. It'll do it. It's at least a foot. When you net it, though, keep it in the water because the temps are borderline. I think we're looking at kind of like 67-ish. Yeah, that's pretty good trout, man, for the screwing. See if you can land him. Rainbow trout? Let's go. Nice brown. All right, what'd you land? What'd you land? Ooh, brown trout. Did you unhook him yet? Not yet, no. Let me see if I can get him out. Got him out. Let me see if I can just scoop them out. Wow, nice trout, man. Stock. I'll send you, uh, <laughs> send you pictures of these later. Sounds good.
brown trout. Solid. See, 